there's this thing called game theory optimal solutions to different scenarios, which is basically, you know, if you have jack nine suited on this type of board against a person in this position, you will want to check raise them 30% of the time and check call 70% of the time or something like that. There are like answers to what you should do in different scenarios with what frequencies. And so now that we know this and, and you can run simulators to give you the answers of all these fictitious scenarios, now it's changed the game into a basically who's willing to learn as many different scenarios as possible and like basically emulate them in their head when they go and play so it's a very different type of game it's more like kind of almost studying chess moves i was just gonna say yeah. it sounds a lot like studying like chess scenarios and it wasn't like that even 10 years ago it was very very different i mean there was some you, you'd sort of do combination calculations in your head and that kind of thing but that was kind of the limit of it and honestly it's actually one of the reasons why i in the end didn't like the game as much anymore 